So today we are flying to Arequipa, which is a city in the south of Peru, and it is the second biggest city in Peru, although it is only a tenth the size of Lima. Um, but we are looking forward to that because that means it should be more walkable, easier to get around, harder to get lost. Not that we've actually got lost, but we've come close a couple of times. So we're going to Arequipa, but I don't think I've actually talked you through what we, <laughs> we did in Lima. Um, so I'm going to do a little introduction here. We first arrived in Lima on Sunday and we stayed in Barranco which is the kind of fancy hipster neighborhood of Lima and that first day we went to a restaurant called Isolina which is one of the most famous restaurants in Barranco um, not as famous as Central but it is still a very famous restaurant that serves traditional indigenous Peruvian food in a modern way. Second day in Barranco we cycled up the Maleson which is a four mile route along the cliff tops in Lima. So Lima is right on the coast um, um, but it's kind of steep cliffs and then beach and uh, most of the city is up on the cliffs and because the beach is like not very wide so we cycled along there and we went from um, Barranco to Miraflores which is the kind of touristy neighborhood we went to the mall which is the only mall in the world set into a cliff um, and then we went on to Park Kennedy which is also known as El Parque de los Gatos because there are hundreds of cats that live there and you can adopt all of them but my boyfriend said no We have cycled to this place which is Park Kennedy um, and yeah, it's just a nice park. We're looking to find a SIM card so we can get some Wi-Fi, um, well some data um, so that we don't get lost uh, but it's, it's been nice it's really warm so cycling is quite intense but it also is a really cycling friendly city which I wasn't expecting um, but there are cycle paths everywhere and there are loads of people on their bikes there are places to park your bike everywhere um, it's like better than London in some ways we're alongside quite big roads but I only, the only time I felt a bit unsafe was because I was lost and didn't know where I was going <laughs> rather than because of the like layout of the city um, it was really nice to cycle along the top of the cliffs next to the sea and that's where we stopped at the um, mall but we were there at half eight and nothing was open. Um, so we're going to try and find a SIM card and then we're going to cycle back to our hotel because this afternoon we have a ceviche and pisco sours class. Um, so looking forward to that. Then we had a, um, a pisco sour and ceviche cooking course from a guy called Miguel, which was an Airbnb course, so I'll leave it linked in the description if you're ever in Lima and you want to do it yourself. He took us to the market and introduced us to different fruits and foods of um, Lima, of Peru in general. He, we had scallop ceviche, which was delicious, and then we went back to his house and he taught us how to make pisco sours and ceviche. is for getting foam. Angostura, bitter. Mm. That's nice. So I, I, I want to put the first flavors here directly to the meat. 
Huh. Yeah, not all the cookers are agree with the meal. And then we went upstairs to his music studio um, and he introduced us to some of the traditional instruments of Afro-Peruvian music and introduced us to Afro-Peruvian music. And we drank Pisco and played um, on, the, on the cajon. <laughs> And then that evening we went on a walking tour of Barranco with our guide. They're crossing the sea, coming back to America. It's all the gold, about that color there. The next day we moved to this hotel, which is in Miraflores, which I told you is the tourist district, and we went to Sequio Market numero dos, because there are two Sequio Markets in Lima, um, and we went to this one ourselves. We felt kind of more confident there because we'd been to the neighborhood market in Ince with Miguel um, and we ate, tried some different foods, um, practiced ordering in Spanish because nobody speaks English which is fair enough um, but my Spanish is not great. <laughs> um, but we did our best, we managed to get some food, uh, we managed to pay correctly. It's just chili cream cheese, isn't it? It's really sticky. It's kind of like um, peeler. Then we have the chicken. Guancana, which is the special sauce that we made at the, um, yesterday at the Pumbaa for Minecraft. It's like cream cheese, crackers, chili, um, lime juice. It's really good. And it, they serve it with boiled peeled potatoes. And some and a hard world egg well. Tina. Can't remember what the fruit is called, but it's really sweet. into the town centre um, which was probably a mistake because we went too late in the day because the demonstrations are still happening in Lima every day at the moment um, and when we went there there were armoured cars and riot police um, and like gates blocking off the roads which was quite intimidating um, but we went to Barrio Chino which is Chinatown um, and we kind of walked around the streets and it was so busy and so hectic and so different from Barranco and Miraflores.
the next day we went on a bus tour of Paracas and the Las Islas Balestas, which is a nature reserve um, four hours south of Lima, uh, where there were sea lions. We saw so many sea lions. Hello, good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. and today we are heading off on a bus um, south of Lima to Paracas, which is a nature reserve, and the Islas Velestas, which are islands where there are um, a lot of wildlife, uh, including sea lions, and it's called the Poor Man's Galapagos, or the Mini Galapagos. So we're getting on a bus, because um, it takes four hours to get there, and we're heading off now. And then we went to Huacachina, which is a desert oasis, the only oasis in the Americas. Everybody else went dune buggying and sand surfing, um, but we just walked around the oasis, walked up to the viewpoint, um, which was quite nice as well. We are at Huacachina, and it's quite loud, but it is the desert. Um, so we're at Paracas, which is a beach. We'll come more inland to the desert. And it's the only natural oasis in the Americas. It's definitely in South America, but it might be the Americas, but not another. Um, so we're going to go for a walk around the lake now, and then we're going to climb a dune later to look over everything. Um, it's quite pretty. Apparently it's party town, but we're going home tonight. Home By home I mean Lima. Um, we're going back to Lima tonight when we're staying for the party. Everybody else has gone to do dune buggies, but with my bad back, we decided probably not the best idea. So climbing in sand, tricky, um, but apparently the view will be worth it. Yesterday we decided to stay in Miraflores and explore the neighbourhood. We went to Sequio Market Numero Uno, which was a lot more, a lot quieter and a lot more organised than Numero Dos, which seemed to be more for locals. This one was a little more touristy. Some of the restaurants had um, translations in English in their menus and things, and they had menus and things rather than just things on the wall. Um, but we did end up eating at a place where they had a menu on the wall um, and they just brought us the food. And then we went for a walk around Miraflores. Agua! Kennedy Park, this is apparently the place to get them. Nine Sol, which is about two pounds. You got five of these, which we weren't expecting because we are not that hungry, but they are made from sweet potato and a type of pumpkin that's grown in the north of Peru. 
Mm-hmm. Quite nice. And there's a syrup that comes with them as well. And a billion wasps that follow you around once you buy them. Wakapukiana, um, I don't want to say that correctly, which is a pre-Incan pyramid. So I will show you around there and talk to you about it. So we didn't get where we were meeting to go, we had to stop at the tour, we didn't realise, and we didn't have time. Um, we're at the airport now, however, our flight is still booked, um, so we might not get on it. Um, it's going to be fun, but it never happened. Um, we are number one and two on the way to there. Fingers crossed we will. Yeah. Um, we were be waiting for three hours, four hours, five hours, five hours. 